plan to vaccinate over 22 million livestock nationwide. Now, Musioka claims President Ruto's regime is pushing a sinister agenda that could harm Kenyan farmers and pave the way for GMO industries. In a blistering attack, opposition figures also condemned the government's alleged intimidation of the clergy after the church spoke out on abductions and killings, urging Ruto's government to focus on delivering its promises. Our political senior reporter Elizabeth Mutuku has the full details. The Kenya Kwanzaa government plan to vaccinate 22 million livestock in the year 2025 has sparked fierce opposition led by Waipa leader Kalonzo Musyoka. They argue that the program could harm Kenya's livestock, a vital source of livelihood for many. We reject these experiments in total. Mm -hmm. Let everyone know that we will resist them to the very end. We ask our fellow Kenyans to join us in opposing the proposed vaccinations which clearly hurt our animals and endanger our people. And warns it may lead to genetic manipulation potentially affecting human health due to the country's reliance on livestock as food source. There are also concerns it could pave way for genetic modified foods in the country. Animals and people's health are equally important. Every Kenyan, therefore, has a responsibility to aggressively oppose this cruel goal. We ask all Kenyans to remain very vigilant. Do not allow any agent or official of the Ruto regime to come anywhere near Kenyan cattle with these vaccines. On the same breath, the opposition has condemned President William Ruto's Kenya Kwanzaa administration allegedly intimidating religious leaders who have spoken against the Kenya Kwanzaa government. They are calling on Ruto to focus on delivering for Kenyans instead of engaging in confrontations. Stop the abductions, stop the corruption. So them calling or trying to intimidate the bishops will not change the truth. Address the issues, stop the insolence. Stop the intolerance. Archbishop Muheria. And it is important to know that Muheria did not even lead the statement. It was led by other bishops. Kipungetish was one of them. He is not the chair of the bishops. But that profiling and saying that that was a tribal statement is a profiling that is in keeping with the root of Jim. They are abusing bishops. <laughs> they, 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 they are actually literally abusing bishops. Because if you know so, don't respect our spiritual fathers. Same time, Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavidi has defended the vaccination program backed by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, saying it aims to boost immunity of both livestock and humans. Elizabeth Motuko, TV 47, Nairobi.